welcome everyone welcome to shades of radiology today i am going to discuss on cp angle schwannoma versus meningioma here you can see two examples the straight forward case of acoustic schwannoma you can see mild widening of right internal auditory canal and a soft tissue lesion which is heterogeneous signal intensity in the right cp angle left cp angle is normal and you can see the lesion is causing compression over the cerebellar peduncle and pons and coming to the another case you can see a well defined lesion in the slightly posterior to left cp angle which is extra axial and causing indentation over the left cerebellar hemisphere so this is a case of right acoustic schwannoma and this is a case of left cp angle meningioma so let us see the differences of this schwannoma and meningioma in the cp angle because these two are the most common lesions in the cp angle acoustic schwannoma is usually a round or oval mass and this is hemispheric you can see it will be in hemispheric in shape and this is usually round and acoustic schwannoma arises from internal auditory canal you can see it, it arises from the internal auditory canal the, the lesion will be having continuity with the internal auditory canal whereas meningioma is along the petrous surface or along the petrous bone along the cp angle but internal auditory canal will be completely normal and usually the acoustic schwannoma grows posteriorly another difference is the calcification is more common in meningioma then schwannomas are usually heterogeneous due to cystic component as you can see in this example they are having few tiny cystic areas whereas meningioma is usually homogeneous sometimes heterogeneous depending upon the presence of calcification or degeneration so and another difference is dural tail and hyperostosis of adjacent bone so usually we see a dural tail with the meningioma but not with the cp angle schwannoma and schwannoma will have acute angulation if you see there will be an acute angle here whereas meningiomas will have an obtuse angle so this is one more difference between acoustic schwannoma and meningioma so these are the basic differences which we need to remember in differentiation of cp angle schwannoma versus meningioma Thank you very much.